Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to give some encouragement to baby boomers, okay? Now, in many of my videos, I'm always critical, right? I always try to identify things that are holding us back, okay, as individuals and as people, okay, as a collective. And once we identify what the issues are, then we can go from there as far as correcting things, right? So, in my videos, I never really actually say baby boomers or, or anything like that, but what I do do is I talk about old mentalities. I talk about the way that we do things, and naturally, uh, some baby boomers may possibly get offended sometimes. Uh, many of us get offended, period, no matter what your age is when we are getting constructive criticism. Many of us do not like criticism, even if it's constructive criticism. And it's nothing wrong with constructive criticism, okay? Especially if people are giving you solutions. Because in order for you to fix a problem, you have to first identify it. So if you don't identify a problem, then you can't correct it, okay? Or you can't fix it or you can't solve it, all right? So the thing is, guys, now this is going to be some encouragement now, some, some positive reinforcement, all right? Now, guys, you get a new body every seven years. Now... For those of you who don't know this, you ask yourself, what do you mean I get a new body every seven years? Well, we know that our cells are constantly turning over, okay? And you don't have the same cells today that you had seven years ago, okay? It takes uh, about seven years. Some cells turn over at, all cells turn over at different rates, okay? Some of your cells turn over like every few days. Some of them turn over every few years, okay? A few months, a few years. And then some take, and then you become a new, say, over the course of seven years, you have totally different cells. Now, what your cells turn over to is depending on your lifestyle, okay? So if for the past seven years, if a person's been running their body down in these ways, how they think, okay, in turn, what, how you think is going to spark your actions okay so if we have a negative mentality if we have a mentality that is not conducive to health okay then guess what you're gonna make decisions like as far as what you put into your mouth okay you are going to make decisions that are going to degenerate you and make you sickly and those cells are going to be unhealthy cells okay but let's say if you let's just say if you were sickly seven years ago and then you really got on your game and you started doing what exercising eating healthy well first you, you change your mentality that's the that's the main thing and then once you change that mentality guess what you start certain neurons start firing off in your brain starts releasing chemicals throughout your body that make you motivated that make you excited about um, a new life okay and getting a new body okay and, and becoming healthier all right, and then you start putting certain things into play, okay? So, the thing is, we know we have to do what? Once you start eating right, cutting some of the bad habits, okay? It's not about trying to cut everything cold turkey. It's not even about necessarily cutting everything out, okay? And just completely abstaining from everything. It's about balance, all right? Now, some of us, it will behoove us to cut certain things out, period, for at least a certain amount of, amount of time until we can detox the mind and the body, okay? And then you can start to filter little things back in to your lifestyle once you, once you balance the scale, all right? Once you've pretty much healed yourself, okay? So, all right, let me see here. I mean, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. I guess this, is, this doesn't have to be a really long video. It's just that simple. So, don't feel discouraged, okay? Another thing is the mentality. People give up on themselves too easily, okay? So if you already adopt the mentality that it starts when you're young, you adopt the mentality that as I get older, I'm going to start degenerating and breaking down. And the reason you have that mentality is because perhaps the older people in your life when you were younger, you seen the way they were. And then you thought that was inevitable. You thought that was your destiny. That was your destination. And so therefore, what? With that mentality, 
you manifested that okay and so what happens is you do have baby boomers right now right who have always been health conscious say some of the people who were they may have been hippies and things like that in the 60s okay and so they always lived a particular lifestyle and so now that they're in their 60s okay or in their 70s they are a different they are a different image than someone that's their same age who may have all type of health problems okay so change your mind change your mentality that's going to spark you to do more beneficial healthy things okay and then therefore over time you're going to start to see a new you literally your cells are going to be new they're going to be regenerated see they're going to turn over anyway now you can either be rejuvenated or you can diminish yourself even more okay so it's, a, it's all epigenetics the environment you put your consciousness in which is that's your brain that's your mind that's the environment that you're putting your consciousness in then your brain's going to send off certain chemicals those chemicals are going to make you feel a certain way and then depending on how you feel you're going to act out a certain way okay guys so we always talk about well, we don't always talk about it but in in the bible you know in in, in prophecy and it, t it, t it tells you about how some of us are going to receive new bodies well this is how you can put yourself on that path okay you can put yourself on a path of getting a new body by doing things right now okay and take and being responsible for yourself right now and your temple right now and do things that going uh, that are going to keep you around so you can get that new body okay makes sense you can stick around and you can make we're we're so close guys that if you are here now and if you're not in too bad of shape you can make it okay you can make it so i know in some of my videos it may be an underlining tone of like well the heck with old people you know I, uh, we only want to influence younger people okay for the future and part of that is true but it's not any it's not for me or anyone else to judge who's who's going to make it into that future okay you have to choose yourself to to make it to the future okay guys so what i'm talking about more so when i when i speak like that is more so an old mentality okay because they're 80 year olds who have um, a certain mentality okay that they may share the mentality that, that i have or that a, a 20 year old has okay and, and in some ways and so it's not about their age it's about a frequency a vibration a mentality an energy about yourself okay and so if we well i'm gonna say if we can because we are leaving an old space okay and so therefore that old mentality is going to have to go as well okay um and and that's what it's all about guys so you know get get your vibrations up okay change your mentality okay and then so change your mind and you can change your body okay and you can stick around okay you can stick around much longer than you think you can you think you can okay you do not have to give up on yourself don't give up on yourself but you can't be obstinate okay you can we cannot be stubborn you have to be receptive to help you have to be receptive to change okay and then you will start changing all right you will start changing another reason that some people period can't make progress like they like they probably would want to is because they wouldn't get out their own way okay guys so the one thing i will say that may come along with baby boomers is just because because you're the oldest generation here now you may think that you know everything and that no one can tell you anything and that you are the one who's supposed to be telling people how to do what to do but the thing is we're in a different world now than we were 40 years ago and things are and change is speeding up okay very rapidly so therefore it's not a, a you know in a lot of regards you may be the more the most uninformed generation okay because the world has changed so much and a lot of baby boomers have been unwilling okay to 
to go, go along with change, okay? Like, for example, I know boomers who, who don't even want to, to this day, don't want to learn how to text, don't want to learn how to use the internet on their phone, who just don't want to even bother with certain things, okay? And who don't, who don't even get on the internet, okay? Now, you, we had, you had the excuse years ago because now in, in, all, in all empathy, I can understand that you guys didn't have the resources that the younger generation had. See, we have the internet, okay? We can research anything we want, okay? We can learn about anything we want to learn about. So we just have the tools, okay, to, to know more, okay? You guys didn't have anything but books, all right? So um, not to say that there's anything wrong with books, but it takes more, you know, it, it takes more time. You have to go to a library. You have to sit down. You have to have the, the fortitude to, to read the book. You have to know how to decipher the information. And to, um, to, you have to know how to be able to comprehend the information. Okay, so I, so I get it. Okay, I get it. So, but the thing is, you have to understand that that's not an excuse. You have the opportunity to learn now. You have access to the Internet now. Okay, you're not that old. 60-something, 70-something years old is young, depending on how you are taking care of yourself, okay? Depending on how you're taking care of yourself, 60 and 70 years should only be half your life, <laughs> literally, okay? You should still, you should, at 60, 70, you should be coming in two, okay? You should be aging like, like fine wine, okay? Look at it that way. See, that's the thing. We also have a mentality that, uh, that, Oh, well, I said this already, but so just to reiterate that as we get older, you're supposed to degenerate. No, if you set it in your mind from wherever you're at right at that point that I'm going to build on myself, I'm going to get healthier, I'm going to do the things that I need to do every day in the moment that's going to assure me as, as, as much as I, you could be assured that you're going to be healthy in the future, okay? And so look at it that way. It's almost like, uh, to quote Will Smith, laying, like not thinking about building a big, uh, a big, huge brick house, okay? Because that, just the idea of that may be too overwhelming, and then it may discourage you from even getting started, okay? But just think about laying that one brick perfect. So take everything one day at a time, one decision at a time. Always try to make the right choice in that moment. So... If I walk into the kitchen and on the table there's a, a brownie and then there's an apple, you know, right there you have the opportunity to make the healthy choice, okay? And then just do that all throughout the day and then you reflect on that day and then you see you had a great day, okay, that, that you put healthy things in your body, you made healthy decisions, you, you, you did things activities that is going to contribute to good health okay and then you do the same thing the next day one day at a time okay guys but this is a video of encouragement to boomers that you can do it okay you're not too old it's not too late you just have to change your mind and be disciplined and be receptive be humble and be receptive and and be okay with the fact that okay you know, I didn't grow up in the information age. I didn't have computers. I didn't have access to this information and this knowledge when I was coming up. So for younger people who may do have this information and access to it, let me humble myself to be able to listen to someone who's younger than me, okay? And maybe they can help me get healthier and stick around much longer. And not only stick around longer, but be here in a better state of mind okay so hopefully this was a helpful video guys change your mind change your body all right peace